A 22-year-old newlywed bride pushes her 25-year-old groom to his death. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. This story comes out of Montana. A 22-year-old bride, a newlywed, uh, denied uh, for a very long time until the parents of the groom, a husband at this point, uh, ordered an investigation into the death of their son, who was found face first in a deep ravine. After denying it many times, the bride or the wife finally confessed. And it is, of course, only appropriate because uh, they simply had to start uh, going into her cell phone records to find text messages to her friends about the so-called marriage. She had been married for two weeks. They went to uh, up on the mountains to hike and I guess uh, a honeymoon. Uh, she said that they had been arguing right before the hike and that upon the hike, they continued to argue even more. She said that he grabbed her and that she, in defense, pushed him off of her. I believe it is all a lie. If you look at the text message, she says uh, she sent uh, to the friend saying that she had second thoughts about the marriage. And then she said uh, right before the hike uh, that if she didn't hear from from her, if the, if the friend didn't hear from her, that it would mean that she had died. I think this goes to the state of mind, which is something that you use in court to show the state of mind that the person, the woman in question was thinking about murder. I would ask for a murder in the first degree. I believe it was premeditated and that she took her husband up there to kill him. What she had hoped uh, to gain from killing him, I have no idea because a divorce can cost all of $60 if you do it right. Anyway, what do you think about this case? Put your comments below. Like the video so other people can see. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.